Ever pondered the intriguing question, how do fish breathe in air? It might seem like a strange question at first, but when you delve into the fascinating world of aquatic life, it becomes a fascinating exploration of the wonders of nature. Fish, those colorful, graceful creatures gliding effortlessly through water, actually have a very different respiratory system compared to terrestrial animals. It's all about gills, not lungs, and water, not air. Picture this, a fish takes in water through its mouth, then closes its mouth, forcing the water out through the sides of its head where the gills are located. The gills, did you know, are extraordinary organs, capable of extracting oxygen from water. They are lined with thousands of tiny blood vessels, or capillaries, which have walls so thin that oxygen can pass through them and enter the fish's bloodstream. But that's not all. The magic of the gills doesn't stop at just extracting oxygen. They also expel carbon dioxide, the waste product of breathing, back into the water. Remarkable, isn't it? Now, you might ask, what happens if a fish is out of water? Well, it's a bit like a human trying to breathe underwater. Without water to process through their gills, fish struggle to extract the oxygen they need, and they can't remove carbon dioxide. It's why fish out of water are in serious trouble, and why they need to stay submerged to live. To summarize, fish breathe in air, not like we do, but in their own unique way. They draw water in through their mouths, extract oxygen with their gills, and expel carbon dioxide back into the water. It's a fine-tuned system, honed over millions of years of evolution, allowing these beautiful creatures to thrive in their watery homes. So the next time you see a fish darting through the water, remember the intricate process happening within. It's not just a swim, it's a breath of life. The world of fish and their breathing mechanism is truly a testament to the diverse and ingenious ways life has adapted on this wonderful planet of ours.